It's no secret that the crew around here at Snowtrax believes Polaris' access platform provides the best front-end ride and handling in the business. So when we were told that 2021 was going to be a big year for Polaris with lots of new, we got a little nervous. Sometimes it's better not to mess with something that works so as not to mess it up. But since the intro of the rush, our confidence in Polaris has done nothing but improve year after year. It seems like a massive percentage of the decisions they make are the right ones. This realization calmed our nerves considerably. When the sheets were finally pulled off the 2021 lineup, it became abundantly clear. Lots of new was a huge understatement. So without further ado, let's take a look. First on the list of important new stuff from Polaris in 2021 is the introduction of the Patriot 650 engine package. Based off the 850, this engine benefits from all the same design characteristics that made the 850 so dang good, it's just in a smaller package. We think the 650 makes perfect sense and, like the 850 E-Tech did a few years ago, sets a new standard for 600 class performance. The bottom end of the engine is essentially the same as the 850, it's just had the bore and stroke altered to decrease displacement. In terms of how the engine is designed though, it's basically just the little brother of the 850. And this is exactly how it feels on the snow. It has the same ultra deep bottom end and slightly aggressive character we love so much about its larger counterpart. It's also a powerhouse, promising a horsepower increase of 10% over the old Liberty 600. That means if our math is correct, it could be making between 137 and 140 horsepower. That is impressive, and it's sure to make more than a few 850 buyers second guess whether or not they actually need an 850. But the most impressive numbers produced by this engine are in relation to economy. Polaris claims it gains a 20% increase in fuel economy over the 600 when run at a steady 45 miles an hour, and an almost unbelievable 50% increase at a steady 25 miles an hour. To put this into perspective, this engine will be more efficient than any other 600 class two-stroke, basically in the same realm as some four strokes that make one third less the horsepower. Before we go any further, I just want to point out that Snowtrax has been predicting that Polaris would replace their old Liberty 600 with a 650 for a number of seasons. So a new motor is big news, no question, but it may not be the biggest news from Polaris for next season. This is because for 2021, Polaris is unveiling an entirely new platform called the Matrix. It's got an aggressive, almost animalistic look that a number of our crews pointed out looks very similar to Polaris Off-Road's RS1. Interestingly enough, they were both designed by the same guy. The Matrix bodywork is smaller in every dimension than the Axis, yet manages to provide even better wind protection and therefore is actually warmer. Ergonomics are different, but not so much that a Polaris rider will feel out of place. The biggest change in terms of ergonomics is in the seat and gas tank area. The front section of the seat and gas tank are a full five inches narrower than on an axis based sled. You may be asking yourself like I was, just how big a deal can this five inches really be? And let me tell you, it's a big deal. This sled becomes so easy to move around on, it just feels incredibly light and flickable. A new headlight Polaris is calling the Night Blade has been designed with inspiration from the Aston Martin car company. It features four individual LED bulbs and reflectors on each side, two for high beam and two for low beam. Above the reflectors are a pattern of accent LEDs. A few other interesting features found on the Matrix are a storage bin behind the gauge that is said to be able to hold up to five pairs of goggles, a storage bin under the removable seat, and new left-hand switch gear that's illuminated and rubberized and controls that gauge. A new braking setup with a new master cylinder and lever and a new caliper are an improvement over Polaris's already stellar brakes, providing more feel and a much more comfortable reach to the lever. The last piece of cool new technology found on all the Matrix models are something the industry has never seen before, climate controlled hot grips. Yes, you heard me right. Using your gauge, you can separately customize the high, medium, and low settings of your hot grips and thumb warmer to a specific temperature. When that setting is selected, the grip will heat up as fast as possible to that pre-selected temperature and stay there, not getting hotter or being allowed to cool. The system is so smart that if you're riding with a crosswind and one grip is getting colder than the other, the system will send more power to that cold grip to make sure it maintains the temperature. 
New hotkey controls were something that Polaris has desperately needed for a long time. But this new system isn't just new, it's revolutionary. And I can say from firsthand experience, it works exactly as promised. Now that we understand what the Matrix platform is, we need to look at the different models it will cover. First, it's available in three different track lengths and two engine combinations, a 129, a 137, and a 146 Assault. All are available with either the 850 or 650 engine options. The 129 and 137 are available in two trim levels as well. The Assault is available only at that highest trim level called the VR1. The Matrix-based VR1 is Polaris's top of the line package and is available during snow check only. You can pick your colors, track, and windshield, but there are no other options. Standard equipment includes a full set of Walker Evans Velocity 2.0 shocks and an all new seven inch touchscreen display, which we'll talk about in a minute. The Matrix based Assault will be available only as a VR1, but the shorter track lengths will be available in season in very limited supply in a slightly downscale package called the Indy XC Launch Edition. This sled is again built on the Matrix platform, but where the VR1 gets the fancy new gauge and velocity shocks, the Launch Edition gets standard Walker piggybacks and the familiar PID gauge. We found in our testing that unless pushed to the absolute extreme, both the VR1 and the Launch Edition models handle and ride pretty much the same on standard trails. Polaris is calling their new gauge package the 7S. It features a seven inch full color glove friendly touchscreen display with auxiliary buttons on each side. It can also be controlled by the left hand bar mounted D-pad. Literally everything on this display can be customized from the gauge styles and positions to the type of information you want and where you want it positioned on the screen. A list of what Polaris is calling widgets are available from the customization menu and include things like trip meters, engine temp, battery voltage, fuel level, all the things a typical trip meter would tell you and a bunch of extras. A full GPS database is pre-installed and allows for a feature that's previously only been found on Polaris side-by-sides. It's called Group Ride. Group Ride allows all riders who have a 7S display to see each other on the GPS map screen without the need for cellular coverage. If you don't have the 7S display, you can still join a Group Ride if you have the Ride Command app loaded on your phone, but this does require cell coverage. At the end of the day, the number one question that all of you want answered about the Matrix platform in both VR1 and Launch Edition trim is simply, how does it work? And the answer is simple. It works amazing. It's comfortable ergonomically and the front end ride quality is every bit as good as that of the Axis platform. Where the Matrix really jumps ahead of the Axis though is handling. The Axis is the industry's best handling sled right now. Next season though, the Matrix will take that title. It handles every bit as predictably as the Axis and is every bit as stable, but it corners flat, like really flat, almost never lifting its inside ski. Where the Axis was precise, the Matrix takes precision to a whole nother level. Never have I been able to pick and change lines mid corner as when I was on the Matrix VR1. I know this description gets overused time and time again, but it really does handle like it's on rails. 2021 is gonna be a massively important year for Polaris. The Matrix is everything you didn't know you wanted, but won't be able to live without once you've tried it. And the 650 is a true game changer for the 600 class. Where much of the competition is set on improving what they already have, Polaris has given customers something new, but not just new, something infinitely better than anything they've had before. If you like what you've just seen, click the subscribe button and comment below. And make sure you check out all of our great videos on Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel.